Today we're taking a look at Cubed Rally Racer. It's a very interesting concept on a racing game. This isn't the kind of game where you're going to make a lot of laps and take on CPU enemies and that kind of thing. Each track is very, very simple compared to doing a bunch of laps. They do get more difficult, of course. Uh, you will notice some of the load times take a little while. That is one minor complaint with the game. So on the bottom, you've got your left and right controls and your accelerator on the right. You're going to... Oh, you don't want that to happen. You're going to try to go on the track. In this case, we're just going in a straight line, and you'll want to make sure you pick up those gas cans because you will indeed run out of gas, especially on some of the longer tracks. Now, whenever you race the same track again, you get the, the ghost of your last path, so really you're racing against yourself here. And you can see it gets a little more difficult. The, the turning and so forth is very touchy. It's not, um, it's not annoying though the way that you control it but it just takes a little getting used to and somehow it fits with the whole cube graphic aesthetic of the game but essentially you're just trying to make it through different paths around once not multiple laps and the most important thing has happened to me is to make sure that you don't run out of gas i really like the look of it i like the retro music to it and it's fun to see something fresh and a little different when it comes to a racing game. It's almost more of a puzzler as you get a little further along, have to time jumps and avoid obstacles and that kind of thing. So it's a fresh take on racing. That's a look at Cubed Rally Racer for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.